Hello everyone, I'm Swati Sharma from Department of Management Studies. Today's uh, topic for discussion is poverty. So uh, what is poverty? Basically, it is a social phenomena in which a section of the society is unable to fulfill uh, even its bare necessities of life. For a household of five members, the poverty line has been fixed at an annual income of Rs. 10,890 in rural area and 12,570 in urban areas. There are two ways of poverty, absolute poverty and relative poverty. Absolute poverty refers to the measure of poverty, keeping in view the per capita intake of calories and the minimum level of consumption. And uh, relative poverty uh, means the, it is the economic condition of different regions or countries uh, when it is compared with each other. Now, uh, there are a few causes of poverty that what will be, what will be the major cause of poverty and what, what are the major causes of poverty. So first is a um, uh, rapid increase in population, or you can say that the heavy pressure of population. So population has been rising in India at a rapid speed. So this rise is mainly due to fall in death rate and more birth rate. So India's population is um, increasing from 1991 to 2020. It's like 135 crore now. So this pressure of population provides hindrance in the way of economic development. Next is a slow pace of economic growth, right? The growth rate of economy has been very low and the growth rate of population is uh, uh, very um, high. So when we compare to the population and per capita growth rate of economy, uh, it is very low. So uh, it, is, uh, it is very less. So it is some of the major cause of poverty. Then uh, large scale of unemployment and underemployment. So due to the continuous rise in population, there is a chronic unemployment and underemployment in India. So there is educated unemployment and disguised unemployment. So poverty is just the reflection of unemployment. Then uh, insufficient infrastructure. So uh, if we see that there is insufficient in infrastructure or industrialization in an economy. So this is the major cause uh, for any economy in that uh, why there is a poverty um, in that particular country. Then uh, rising inequalities in uh, income and wealth. Obviously, we, we have been studying this, that there is inequality um, all around um, in India. So if rising inequality is there um, in income and wealth, then obviously this is a major cause of poverty. Then poverty in India, if we see that two thirds of people in India live in uh, poverty, right? 68.8% 8 of the Indian population lives on uh, uh, less than uh, $2 a day. And over 30% even have less than $1.25 per day available. So they are extremely poor. So more than 800 million people in India, they are considered to be poor. So if we see the poverty in the states of India, and one half of the India's poor is located in three states, like Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, and Madhya Pradesh. And Maharashtra, West Bengal, Orissa account for 22.5% of poverty. So uh, there is impact of poverty. So poverty in India impacts children, families, individuals in a variety of different ways. First is uh, high infant mortal mortality. Like 1.4 million children die each year in India before their fifth birthday. So India is one of the countries with the highest child mortality rates like pneumonia, malaria, diarrhea, disease, as well as, as, well as the chronic malnutrition are the most frequent causes of death. Then is malnutrition, not even a bowl of rice a day. India is one of the world's top countries when it comes to malnutrition. So more than 200 million people don't have sufficient access to food, including like 60 million children and 7.8 million infants. So were found to have a birth weight of less than 2.5 kilogram. So this is a very worst condition for any particular country. Then um, lack of, uh, sorry, child labor. Child labor, there is no, no time to play or learn or something new. So although child labor for children under the age of 14 in India is prohibited by law. So according to official figures, 12.5 million children between the ages of 5 and 14 are working. So there are agencies assume that in reality, there are many more estimating that 65 million children between like 6 to 14 years do not go to school. 
So instead, in order to secure the survival, it is believed that Indian children contribute to the livelihood of their families. They work in the field, the factories, and private households, and many other work. Then a lack of uh, education, like no opportunities and without educations. Uh, according to the UNICEF, about 25% uh, of children in India have no access to education. The number of children excluded from school is higher among girls than the boys. Although women and men are treated equally under Indian law, girls and women, especially in the lower social caste, are considered inferior and are uh, oppressed by their father, brothers and husband. So without education, the chance of finding a living wage from un uh, employment in India is virtually hopeless. Then child marriage, in spite of the banning minor from marrying in 2006, it is still widespread in many regions of the India. The main leader in the practice are young girls who are still children themselves and become mothers too early. So many of them die at birth. So according to the investigation by the medical journal, The Lancet, 44.5% of girls are still married in India before they are of a legal age. So due to poverty, many parents encourage early marriages for their daughters and hope for better life for them. And HIV and AIDS, it's a taboo in Indian society. 2.7 million Indians are infected with HIV virus. So about like 2,20,000 uh, uh, around of them are children, but the tendency is rising. And the lack of education and the lack of uh, precautions mean that the virus is spreading faster and faster and more and more. People are dying of AIDS, especially in the slums or uh, in slum areas and uh, other areas. So uh, this is uh, these are some of the impact of poverty. Uh, so uh, this is all about uh, this topic. Thank you.